Hey, it's Ellie from TC Helicon, and in this video, we are gonna dive into the harmonies on the Perform VK. So editing the harmony is very simple. It's very similar, in fact, to how we edited the reverb and the delay. All you're gonna do is you hold down the harmony button, and it brings you into the harmony menus. So if we think that basically this top LED, uh, what's that, 12 o'clock, uh, that's your lead voice. And these LEDs that light up are the corresponding um, kind of harmony placements to your lead voice. So the first one that it shows you is um, one above, or high we call it. So I'll demo it for you. There's a fifth above. The next one. So the third above, higher we call it. So it's called that one's called low in the manual and it's a third below. Sorry, fifth below. And then the next one we have which is the third below. Uh, then we can start doing two part harmonies after that. So here's one low and one high. So those are all of our natural play harmony modes. Essentially, those harmonies only work when we're giving it audio chord information. So I have the audio from this keyboard going into the Perform VK and it's telling it which harmonies to sing. If I just sing with nothing going to it, it's doing a pretty good job of guessing, but it doesn't know. Um, so it needs that chord information for natural play to work. So let's say I want, we'll do one, one below, or two below rather. Uh, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. So you can hear it's harmonizing and that's based on the walk down of the chord progression that I played. Um, if you want the harmonies to be louder, it, it, you notice that it timed out really quickly and the screen that it defaults to is this one. It's these white LEDs and that level um, is only the harmony level. So the volume of the harmonies in relation to your voice. Um, from a previous video, you would have seen that I set my vocal level here. This is just always gonna be um, adjusting the harmony volume to my voice. So if I have a song where I want the harmonies to be really loud, I'm gonna turn that up. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. They're quite a bit louder if I wanna turn them down. Let it be, let it be. It's really hard to hear them there. So it's nice to find a little sweet spot. Let it be, let it be. Um, another quick tip, if you are using a piano and you're using a sustain pedal, make sure that you're lifting the sustain while you're changing to each chord. If you hold the sustain throughout a chord progression and the harmony voices are changing, they're going to lock onto that initial chord that you used uh, for the first sustain. So make sure that you're lifting your foot between chord changes to make those harmonies sound great. Okay, so that's natural play. We're going to go into notes mode, uh, which is the next option. So again, hold down your harmony. And the first one is you'll see there's these eight um, LEDs and they're all spaced out. So this is um, notes mode and it's, it's controlled by MIDI. So you need a MIDI signal to be going to this, which I've got um, my MIDI uh, plug going from my keyboard to the Perform VK. When they're spaced out like this, there's two settings. Uh, there's spaced out and then there's tight. And that's essentially loose harmonies versus tight harmonies. Um, so you can play around with that. Um, one good example, um, if you're familiar with the song uh, by Imogen Heap, uh, Hide and Seek, this is how uh, she did that, I'm pretty sure. Um, but 
uh, what you can do is you can turn the volume all the way off on your keyboard and you can play in notes mode here. Okay, so I'm gonna play the chords of the song uh, with my hand that I want the harmonies to be and I'm gonna sing and I, because I've turned the keyboard off, you won't be able to hear the keyboard um, voices that I'm doing. You can also do this uh, through a DAW with your computer and have it set up ahead of time and uh, we'll talk about that in a moment, but I'm just gonna demo this for you really quickly here. Ooh, where I'm, gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn the harmonies way up because she's kind of got it so that it's not like a lead vocal, it's a very choral sounding um, harmony um, arrangement. Where are we? What the So you can hear that here. And I've got my vocal really dry, but obviously like throwing on some really nice who um, harm, uh, reverb on there. Where? And that helps, and then where, where? Okay, let's try that. Again, I'm really making sure, I'm trying to lift my foot with every chord change with a sustain um, so that I get those chord changes happening, um, but still keeping some sustain so that it, it, the harmonies ring out nicely. When I'm in this mode, hey, 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 I'm not getting any uh, volume out of my mic because I need, it's telling me uh, with a hey, hey, when the harmonies are put up all the way, it needs that harmony information. Hey. But if I back off the harmony uh, volume, the lead voice comes through again and we don't have to be necessarily triggering the piano. Okay, so that's chordal uh, notes mode. The very next one after that is this rainbow color and you'll see they're all either spaced out or tight together. Same thing, spaced out um, uh, harmonies or tight harmonies. Um, okay, so with that one, you have to use a DAW. It's like nothing is gonna um, work with the the harmonies on my keyboard. So if you have a DAW, um, it's eight channel MIDI. So you can set up eight channels within your um, digital audio workspace. Channel one goes to the first one, channel two goes to the next one, and you can trigger your harmonies uh, that way. So I think at some point we'll try and do another video that really goes into that in depth to show you how to set that all up. Um, if you're already thinking about doing something like that, then you probably have a pretty good idea of how to do that. Um, but if you think that's something you'd like to know for sure, throw that in the comments and uh, we'll get the video team together and we'll, we'll put together a video for that. But there you have it. That's Harmony, the Perform VK. There's lots of fun stuff you can do. I hope you found that helpful and I hope I was able to demonstrate enough of the sounds so that you have a good idea of what it sounds like. Um, any questions, throw them in the comments below. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.